You know, when it comes to wines, Napa Valley and France are usually part of that conversation, but Phil Sharfstein from One Stop Wines and Spirits is here with a shot of knowledge about wines from Germany. Phil, appreciate you being here today. Chris, thanks, thanks for having me. And, and we've got a couple of selections here from Sun Garden. We do. Well, I had to drop back a little bit and punt because okay. the weather was cooling off. Right. When I set this up, I thought we were going to be transition, trend doing the transition from kind of the summer wines into some lighter reds. Right. But I noticed that weather's got a it's, temperature's going back it's up. It's going to be a little warm this so weekend. So I've brought right. in some Germans. Uh, we're going to be tasting them okay. uh, at the store. Mm -hmm. Easy Germans to say, easy Germans to open up. <laughs> And so we, easy, so this easy is, this all the is way easy around. Easy all the way around. You okay. know, Germans can be very, uh, very technical with their wording. It's hard for us as American to figure out what the heck we're drinking <laughs> with some with some spate lace, house lace. So this is going to be um, two easy ones. Right. I love the colors of the bottle. Right, they're beautiful bottles. I love how we can open them. Uh huh. And the taste is in the bottle. And this is a Riesling. This is a Riesling. Okay. Uh, we we have two wines normally that we talk about from Germany. That's a Riesling and a Gewurztraminer. I love this. Amy loves this one. I hope you will too. If you're going to have to drink at 10 in the morning, this is the why way to not go. drink a Riesling. Okay? Enjoy. And drink something you enjoy. <laughs> hey, and I would enjoy that. I it's thought you would. Really I enjoy crisp. Mm -hmm. Yes, a uh, nice little acidity, mm -hmm. but not overwhelming. Still, that peach, that fruit comes right off of it. Uh, great aroma. Great aroma. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I think this is going to really show. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're going to have a lot of people really enjoy this at the store. And this is a first for me. This is the first German wine I've ever had. Oh, so well, really, well, really, on, on first out the hey, Thank you. We, we Very nice. The first thank one. you for bringing this one. <clears throat> the second mm -hmm. one is a little tricky with its name. It's a Gewurztraminer. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You've got that down. I do not. <laughs> That's okay. Most of the time, we actually, around the store, or people say, just give me a Gewurz. A Gewurz. A Gewurz. That's, they just turn I it do that. Gewurz. And I thought you could. Yeah. So I'm going to make it easy once again. And I'm not going to pour off double G up on a Riesling. Well, that's we're okay. We're going to go this whoop, way, whoop, and whoop. we're going to do there this. We go. There we go. I'll save that one for later. <laughs> mm -hmm. So a little blend. Diverge. This one's going to pull out a different. little. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have a little spicy notes, um, mm -hmm. all spice, nutmeg coming from a from a Gewurz. Great with Thai food, Asian dishes. Um, it really has a. If you go with those spicy, the red chilies or things of that nature, this really seems to settle it down. But it gives that little bit of all spice kind of really accents uh, those type of dishes. And I like how light it is. I mean, Still, it's really on the tongue. It's really light. <clears throat> Still a light. Uh, summer, fall, transitional wine. Very nice. Mm. So this would be great for this fall if you're having any kind of a party. Maybe even you bring it out for a tailgate or whatever you I, whatever you got going we're on. Going in, we're going into football time. I would right. not hesitate at all to bring this out around tailgating. If you're having friends over just to watch a game on TV, this would be a great way to yes, go to. It, it, you know, I always say, I always look for our crowd pleaser. Right. Rieslings uh, normally are those crowd pleasers because uh, they have a little sweetness. They go with a, a majority of dishes that are being served. Uh, I know you were bringing up pizza that you've got coming up. You ask about it. I yes. know the guys I, over I, Jiggy I, Rays are happy I, to hear. I, I, this I pairs was, well. This I'm going to tell well. you, throw a Riesling in it, you're going to be fine with it. So I, I always will say, Gewürztraminer is a little different. It's right. not for everyone, but that's why we're tasting it at the store. Right. Um, if, if it's something you like, then, then that's another addition that you can add uh, to your taste. If you don't, then fall back on this Riesling that's been a staple for Germany for many, many, many years. And you want to encourage folks to, to broaden their horizons when it comes to wines. You just don't want to stay. You get you find what you like, but then kind of experiment. From I want them to experiment, and that's right. why we have these two are going to be we're tasting through today, through the weekend. I think I've got three to four other wines at the store, some other reds we're trying. And don't forget Ballast Point Beer we have on tap. Right. That was a tap takeover and a studio brew. So if you're into the beers, come on. We'll give you a try of those as well. You've got them covered. Yes. All right. Phil, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you again. As always, a, it, a great shot of knowledge about German wines. It is One Stop <laughs> Wines and Spirits there at West State of Franklin Road in Johnson City. Give them a call. Check out their website as well because they have a fantastic website with plenty of specials on there and let you know what's going on in the store. But in just a moment, we're going to be heading over to the kitchen. Maybe I'll take a glass of this wine with me over there because it pairs well with that pizza that they're getting ready to make. Jiggy Ray's right there at downtown Elizabeth. <laughs>